Prices was the big topic of conversation at the state house today. And lawmakers took testimony on a bill aiming to retain third grade students who failed the state's reading proficiency test. Mark Peterson has been covering the story all day long for us and joins us live in studio with the latest. Hey, Mark. Read all about it, as they say. <laughs> One in five third graders currently fails to meet the state's reading standards, about 14,000 students in all. It was argued students who do poorly in reading are likely to do poorly in other classes. A student first learns to read and then reads to learn. Most of those who testified today in support of this bill, it does provide exemptions for special education students and English learners, but it also provides uh, plenty of help to students who are struggling before the retention becomes an issue. But beginning with 2025, um, we're asking that if students don't have a good cause exemption um, and if students are not able to read, they will have had three attempts on the I read. It's a very foundational assessment. Um, we're asking that they are retained. Retention may be appropriate for some students. To say that it is the appropriate response for all students even with those exceptions, is like taking an enormous sledgehammer to a problem that maybe could be dealt with with a ball peen hammer. Well, some may say that retention is not good for a child. What really isn't good is to move that student on without foundational reading skills. Education is about putting our students on a path for success, and the ability to read is a critical component of that success. To send these students on through school without the ability to read sets them up to struggle throughout the rest of their education and often the rest of their life. The bill passed by the Senate's uh, Education uh, Committee today has to head to appropriations because of its fiscal impact, but you're going to hear a lot more about the, the R word, retention. This is uh, language included in Senate Bill 1. Okay, Mark reading between the lines for us tonight. A lot more to come. Mark <laughs> Peterson, thank you. There's a lot more for 